Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to episode 29 of the FC Heidenheim crew mode. That is right, so we are starting off this episode by getting into the game versus Cordoba. So I want to thank you guys for the support on the video yesterday, the crew mode experiment with Juventus. Uh, always fantastic to see you guys enjoying the videos like that. And I want you guys to let me know, would you guys like to see mostly crew mode experiments? Or are you guys happy with this gen the current schedule of uploads? Just let me know. That'd be great. And yeah, let's get into this game versus FC Nuremberg. Come on, Heidenheim. So now we're getting into the first game of the episode. So, obviously been on good form. Especially defensively. As we've only allowed 7 goals in, I believe, 14 games. It's quite an incredible record. And, yep looking to keep that up at the moment so Nuremberg obviously were one of the sides that was also promoted alongside us so they won the relegation playoff battle not sure against who but they made it through and I believe this is our first time playing them this season yep and looking forward to showing you guys the two teams and they are firstly Heidenheim 4-1-2-1-2 Dolberg and Moore up top. Jesus, Bailey, and Pulisic in the attacking midfield. Pazor, CDM, and Hernandez, Riedeval, Sanjus, Klosterman, alongside Donnarumma in the back line. FC Nuremberg have Ishak up top and Bonilla in goal. They're playing a 4 2 3 1, I think. Yep, let's get into the game and see what we can do. It's Emory Moore now. Semri Moore! It's one to nothing. 16 minutes in. Great run by Emre. Comes in towards the goalie and smacks it in to the bottom corner there. A brilliant run. The keeper comes out, but it's a brilliant low shot. Those kind of shots are really hard to stop. And, well, placed it into the back of the net. Not sure what the keeper's doing sliding with his legs there, but he is a professional goalkeeper. One nothing, Heidenheim. Let's go. Oh, it's Emery Moore. It's Emery Moore. It's Emery Moore. Oh my goodness, Emery Moore. I didn't think that could go in, and it, it didn't. But wow, what a chance there! And that's really poor for me. Never should have given that up. But Bailey, you totally. Oh my, Donna Ruma. Oh, saved my bacon there. Really close. And that is it. one nothing going into halftime. Saw enough play from us, and it looks like we are going to be on a good track here. So they made a substitution into the half. Can we go and get this victory? Come on, head that way. Away! Oh my god, we've, they've scored! They've scored! They actually scored. Wow, uh, not a good idea actually giving up that free kick because they actually put it into the back of the net. Ugh. Okay, so, gotta make a few substitutions. So, Kai Havertz is gonna come on for Dolberg. And, I mean, for. Yeah. That'll be it for now, though. And, uh. Gonna go for that winning goal because I was happy enough with that win. It's Jesus, it's Jesus! That is a world-class finish from Gabriel Jesus. It's 2-1, 76-minute goal from Gabriel Jesus. A quality run, a quality pass, brilliant one, too, and just hits it into the bottom corner. Nothing the keeper could do about that. That was just a perfectly fitted, placed low finish. It's one nothing. Let's go. Oh, it's Kai Havertz. It's three. It is three. Counter attack. Oh, Kai Havertz gets another. And Nuremberg were going for the tying goal. We caught him on the counter. Hit where it hurt most into the back of the net. It's 3 1. It's game over there. A brilliant pass from Gabriel Jesus. The goal and the assist. What a quality performance from him. And a great finish, though. The keeper was rooted to the spot. 
She tries to go to leg and, well, completely missed. <laughs> and now it's Riedewald. It's headed now. It's in. That should be it for the game, though. It's Mowald here. And it's a great tackle from Saint Just. And that is it. That is it. 3 1 victory over FC Nuremberg. A little bit tough, but we ended up getting two fairly quick goals. We were absolutely clinical in this game. Three shots, three goals. Great victory as we retain our spot on top of the table. Notable results, I'd have to say Bayern and Dortmund drawing. Munchglad back 3 0 over Stuttgart. And Wolfsburg being beaten 2 1 by Hamburg. So. Yeah, Munchen Gladbach have actually gotten into second in the table at the moment. Schalke haven't played their game yet. And it doesn't look like Bayern's going to be catching up at the moment. Um, yeah. It's been kind of poor from them, really. We beat them in the first game, and ever since, they just really haven't been up there. So, either way, going to continue on. Going to, obviously, try to grow the players. I will substitute a few more players in, but we really needed a victory there. So, thought it would be necessary to just keep our best players on. Yeah, I think the vast majority of them I'm just going to let go. Because they're really just not necessary here, to be honest with you. But yeah, let's take a look at the schedule. Just see uh, in terms of games. So, this is going to be the last game, and then we're going to get into the January transfer window. So I want you guys to let me know who I should be looking for. Whether I should be going for more squad depth, whether it's necessary at all, given... Well, to be honest with you, um, our sparse lack of games, given we basically got beaten in the cup so this is our only competition so should we be going for any transfers should we be looking for free contracts let me know regardless we're gonna get into this game versus Hertha Berlin Hertha Berlin and yeah just going to continue on I'm gonna keep the same team however there's definitely gonna be a few changes early on as we look to ensure we don't get any injuries Second game of the episode, we are playing against Hertha Berlin, who are currently ninth in the Bundesliga. So, at the moment, yet again, we're top of the league. Six-point lead in hand. Hertha only have, I believe, 19 points so far. So, we should be coming into this game expecting a victory. However, always have to look for a challenge. They've done pretty decently so far in the real-life Bundesliga season. But in the game, kind of mediocre mid-table. For us, however, right in top form, top of the league. Looking at the two teams now. So, Jarstein and goal. They have Eschlein, I believe, the ultimate team legend at some point. And they're playing a, yet again, a 4-2-3-1. Is there any different formation? This is like the new... F Wait a second, they did also did this in the second bonus league. Wow. Either way, no changes to the team. I wish they would show the substitute bench, as I'm planning to get a couple of them into the game. However, at the moment, not any changes are going to be made. It is three days, but um, there's barely any fissure conjecture. Jesus from range! Jesus! Forces a brilliant save from Jarstein there. It's Leon Bailey here. It's a corner caught by Jarstein, a really poor cross there. Right into the hands of the keeper. Now it's Bazower. Trying to make the tackle. Misses out though. It's another chance for Duda. Duda. Poor finishing has really uh, saved us so far. Come on. It's, it's Dolberg. It's Dolberg. Puts it away. It's one to nothing in the 37th minute. Keeper made a brilliant save. But Dolberg tapped in the rebound. Unfortunate from the keeper's perspective, but for Dolberg, it's perfection as it goes right into that back of the net. We lead 1-0 early on. Let's go. Timmy Moore. It's Bailey's Bailey! It's two! It's two! We've struck yet again! Three minutes later, and it's time for the shush. That is right. Leon Bailey, the Jamaican beast, has smacked it right into the back of the net. It's 2 nothing, And yeah, unlike what we did against RB Leipzig, we got that second goal. 
and uh, we are poised to really break away. So, great goal, great finish there. And yet again, theme of this uh, episode, low-driven sh shots are very hard in game and in real life for a keeper to stop and well they're kinda of broken in feet oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness this is actually ridiculous they they really should be scoring one it's uh... closer man okay it's half time it's half time probably gonna make some substitutions just give some players some game time so I'm probably gonna take off Dolberg uh... i'm probably gonna take off Emory Moore i'm gonna put Jesus up top i'm going to move uh... Brower into the cam spot I'm going to put Havertz um, on for Bailey. Can he play in the left mid position? Uh, I'll move Pulisic over there. So he's like more flexible. And in addition, I will be on Malang Sar for Saint Just as uh, he really doesn't get enough game time. He's a quality player. Now it's Rodney Brower, and that is it. That is it. 2 0 victory. Good play overall. Really didn't do anything after the end of the first half but we already had 2 0 lead that is enough to extend our lead at the top of the Bundesliga table and yeah we're leading Wolfsburg beat Augsburg and one of the more relevant results in the Bundesliga table but either way now at the moment with uh, Mönchengladbach and Schalke yet to play their 16th game we have a nine point lead in the Bundesliga table. So obviously we're going to simulate along and go along and simulate towards the start of the January transfer window. So yeah, in the next episode we are going to begin the January transfer window. And I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys are interested in this sort of content, feel free to subscribe. Peace.